gonna go just there. Another great spot with beautiful views. I'm in the process of uh, I need to make some breakfast and a brew. I'm looking forward to seeing John O'Groats later tonight. Now stay tuned for this video because we will be seeing me and John O'Groats for the first time. Make some breakfast. My first brew of the day. Seven days out here now, and it's the first porridge of this trip. And I've got two bananas to go with it. And I want to show you the other side of the view is the beach. It's a car coming, so I've got to be careful, but there's a piece of rock here. We can go and climb on the rock. Oh. Let me show you the beach. It's a little bit wild, but there's tracks here where people have been walking. Oh, there is wildlife as well, you can see. Wildlife, even eagles flying around here. Now it's 11 a.m. and it's time to head off and explore some houses and castles and uh, get to the top of the UK, John O'Groves. Sun's out in my face though, it feels good because it's been like pretty chilly. We're gonna move on shortly and uh, I'll show you some more places. a signpost somewhere. We are a bit unguided. There's like a calf and a post office there. Tong Star's post office. Hi, all right. Hello. I'm just looking for the wall to the castle. Is it yes, that if you way? Go, uh, along here, if you go just past the Ben Loyal Hotel, on this side of the road, yeah. you'll see a wee sign and you walk down right. here. Right, thank you. I was going that way. <laughs> all right, <laughs> cheers. All right, as the lady said, it's down this way. I was going the wrong way. The plan is, Go to the castle, then go to the weaver's calf, get some food, it's up until four. I think it's called Castle Varick. There's the sign for it. Let me go down this path. Oh, I love these paths. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. It's gonna be like super windy up there. You see the wind now? This is down in the valley. We've got to be almost being blown off the top no doubt when we get to this castle but it's good to uh stretch our legs you know first uh, activity of the day before we're driving again and beautiful views over there oh we've got eco pods we've got pods beautiful we've got beautiful views lovely little tree this walk is going to be great and then after this we'll go to the calf get a bit of lunch there's a castle there. It looks more than half a mile. We'll just do it as long as it takes. There's no hurry. No hurry at all. What well, beautiful views. Stunning views. Looking absolutely stunning. Look at this. As the stream goes into the, the lock, just beautiful. We've got a bridge coming up over there. How far is the walk up there? Um, I would say about a mile. About a mile. Yeah, ten, ten minutes. minutes ten minutes. All oh, right, not, not been really. Not too steep. Yeah. It's a nice views. Beautiful views, really gorgeous. Worth it. Yeah. yeah, worth it. It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Wonderful day as well. A bit windy, but yeah. the sun's out. All right, enjoy your walk. We've got a 
bit of a climb in front of us. A bit of a, I want to say morning cardio, but we just turned afternoon. Feeling good, feeling fit. And uh, looking forward to doing this, getting some good footage. Then uh, the cafe after. And then on we go uh, to our next adventure. Hopefully we end the day at John O'Groats. We've got about seven hours of daylight to do it all in. I'm glad now I took my big jacket off because it just feels just uh, not too cold at all. As I go through all the overgrown branches, it just feels like I'll be um, getting hotter and hotter as I start to climb now. We're going to have some spectacular views over Tong. So stay tuned, it's going to be pretty incredible. Starting to see it now. It is pretty steep, actually. But it looks a lot closer. But we're almost there. Alright, it's getting to the point now where I just keep stopping getting pictures. It's pretty epic. And what a fine day it is. No doubt they're gonna get a lot more epic than this. As the view is just getting uh, very incredible. That guy just said, because uh, he's coming down, just tie your hat down. Um, it's like crazy up there. The wind is insane. But we see it there. We see it. We can go and have a, a snoop of history. Looking incredible. So this is not for me. Not just for me, for me and you. All this, you see. Right, the wind is getting crazy already. You may not hear us soon, but we've just got this bit to do. Wow. What a viewpoint. What a viewpoint. That geezer was just right. My hat did blow off. Luckily it didn't blow too far. And not over this way. But it did blow off. Let's tie it down a bit. I'll keep the hat off so you can see my great hair last bit now oh. oh my god wow but we're not here for that we're here for we're here for that we're here for that God, here we go. Look at that. How crazy is that wind? Look at the views. Oh my God. Oh, stunning. And there's the causeway. That's where we stayed last night, where them camper vans are, motorhomes. Oh, incredible views. Wow. This is fresh ever, right? Oh my God. We'll go in there in a moment. I think uh, somebody's in. All right, let's go in this castle and have a look. This is my new home. <coughs> my new home. Just me and you. Come and have a look at my place. Let's make a bit of information there. Yeah, we've got this spiral staircase. That other guy who came out, he said it's twice winded up here. Oh my God. Oh, it's so scary. I'm holding on to this. Good job, your shorts. Oh my God. 
be a miracle if I don't lose anything here. Much of it left. It's just a hollow shell now. I don't want to chance it too long being up there. It's almost like about 60 mile an hour winds, probably. Oh my god. But yeah. Alright, that guy, the guy is walking down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow him. I'm a bit risky. Oh, see that? Okay, I'm not gonna risk it. Just holding the camera on. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough. I'm happy. Are you happy now? Just had a great spot of lunch, a uh, pie and uh, cheese and onion toasty, a weaver's calf here in town. Really recommend it, really awesome. Uh, now it's time to go to the local store and get some groceries, I need some water, I'm not sure what else, but then we go on uh, towards Fursal and uh, we've got some castles and houses to see. So we're going to set off now and uh, I think I've eaten enough calories to get me through most of the day, so that's going to be alright. So let's, uh, let's... This is the spot we stayed, me and Gaz, many years ago. This parking lay by overlooking this view the reason we stayed here is because we ran out of fuel pretty much and the garage it was a sunday it didn't open until 9 a.m it wasn't nine till five back then and uh we don't go any further with uh, our fuel as it was uh, but nowadays the fuel station is 24 hour uh, but we can't slept in the car basically i remember back then i think it was less overgrown you could see the bay a lot better. All right, let's go.
uh, nearly 3.30 p.m. today and uh, basically I've just found out the Marianne's Cottage last entry is around 3 p.m. Well it closes 4.30 p.m. and it's like an hour to get there from here so we're not going to make that. And the Castles of May also last admission uh, is 3 o'clock I believe and it closes 4.30. Again we're over an hour away, there's no chance of seeing that today. So if you want to see Marianne's Cottage or Castles of May, then you need to get there early pretty much. So now the plan will be just to go to John and Groves um, and just basically drive there and then find a spot for the night. The other option if we wanted to see the castle and the cottage, we would need to stay overnight and go back. Um, but uh, with how I feel, I want to keep moving. I don't want to go to John and Groves and then come back. I want to keep running around the NC500. So there's a few places that we skipped this time um, but next time we come and do the NC500 going the other way around anti-clockwise then we can go and see these uh, places that we missed you know so it leaves some for next time Okay we'll carry on moving John O'Groats, 1 hour 8 minutes
John O'Groats, just there. Do you see it? That is my first sighting of it. We did it, guys. Once in a lifetime thing for a lot of people. There's a lot of people around the sign. If you've not seen John O'Groats, you're seeing it here with me. I'll do my best to uh, show you what I can do. On the me with a selfie stick. Yeah, people are taking the turn for a selfie. when I get back they look at him not yeah that's it that's why I do like some vlogs yeah. I'm sta I've been staying in my car the whole journey and well, uh, that's my backup plan I've got my yeah. do in the, in the boot just in case yeah so where are you from again Leek Leek in Staffordshire all right yeah. excellent yeah about 20 minutes drive from, from Orton Towers yeah, yeah. So what's your travel plan like what are you doing here T500 yes yeah, yeah. I, do. I started that today and I've got me back in Leek work on Saturday so. yeah yeah. Then up for got set a stone, I've stayed at MS 39. Yeah. And then obviously tomorrow, Wednesday, just drive all in. Right, so okay, okay, night. awesome, awesome. Yeah. But so far it's been a bit amazing. It's, it's something that's always wanted to do, it's always been on the bucket list, so Yeah. You know, yeah, so what's been it. what's been your best place that you've seen? Today, it's tough today. It's just uh, the amazing scenery. Yeah, it's a bit on the spot. Yeah. A bit on the spot. Yeah. Everywhere's it's nice, isn't it? Well, it, it, it yeah. was amazing to see those dolphins out close up this morning. That, that, was, yeah. that was really good. Hey, cool, mate. Really nice appreciate it. All the best. Yeah, nice well, to meet you too. Channel, yeah, enjoy the rest of your, um, your traveling. So it was really good to meet Mark. Now we're going to uh, walk. Have a look around a little bit. Started the trial, 140 odd miles. Wow. A brewery trial, so you've had a few beers, are you up to doing 140 odd miles? Right, yeah, we'll not do this, but this is pretty cool. I just got in before it closed and uh, I've got a souvenir. I got uh, this one for myself and I got some others for family under here. All right, I thought that's pretty cool. That's a token of doing this. <laughs> yep, ferry's arrived. I was gonna walk around there. We have our new home tonight. We just have to find a new spot. There's the ferry. I want to see close, closer. Let's go have a look. I know I want to see a bit closer to it. I want to, I want to go on a trip now. I want to go on it. I want to go on it. I want to go somewhere. 
like when I'm abroad I want to go somewhere next time in Scotland we'll have to go on some uh, island trips definitely explore Shetlands and uh, some of our islands on the other side in the west we just got here before everything closed up let's go and have a look at these coloured uh, buildings before the sun goes I like this like the sands and the pebbles like the beach the water running i like it no idea yet where we're going to uh find our camping spot for tonight we'll have a drive around in a bit we've got a bit bit of sunlight left before sunset these are the color buildings they're nice aren't they not been here everyone's gone home so I might get a cheeky selfie so I think that's it guys we have made the end of the UK we've got a selfie of ourselves at the sign and we can do no more really all right now it's time to go and find the spot alright tonight but we'll have a good look tomorrow this is a view from outside the car window and the sunset has gone down now the sun has gone down and you want to just quickly before it goes dark have a look and John and Crocs is over that way tomorrow we are heading down towards Wick and down the A9 um, it's a fast road, so we just have to make uh, one or two stops on the way to Inverness and I think tomorrow night we will end up at Loch Ness again, pretty much where we started the NC500. So yeah, I'm feeling very uh, very content, very happy that I've uh, come this far. It's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a challenge, it's been a challenge, definitely. I, it was a bit overwhelming at first and now I can feel like um i have a lot of confidence in the car and um i just feel like really fit as well and uh i, I love finding different cafes along the way as well for lunches and uh breakfast and things uh so yeah i mean uh i'm very very filled up from seeing uh john gross today and meeting like meeting mark i'm so happy and now the only way is south and uh yeah, I feel very fulfilled, you know, very fulfilled. For now, the adventure continues. I hope you enjoyed today. It's been a fantastic, another fantastic day. Every day we go out on adventures, we don't know what's coming. And uh, I'm so happy to have you come along and tag along with me and share this. This wonderful experience, this uh, it's once in a lifetime experience really I get to share with you um, and uh, like I say tomorrow we head in down to Inverness the drive alone is 2 hour 34 minutes as we look at the John O'Groves coast together who knows this could be the only time that we get to show this moment here at John O'Groves so thank you so much guys I really appreciate it if you want to consider subscribing that will really help the channel and I'll be, I'll be posting more adventures, trips, think of new ideas in the future. So from a breezy John O'Groves, I will say good night and see you in the next video. Peace.